our sun is a fantastic star. It gives us heat, light, tans. But it's actually a very ordinary orb because there is an absolute zoo of different stars out there. Sure, you've heard about neutron stars, red giants, pulsars. And we'll talk more about those in other videos. But I want to tell you about my absolute favorite type of stars. These are very rare stars, which we call wolf rayet stars. They're hotter and brighter than almost all other stars. And they're both very windy and very fluffy. That's because all that heat and light creates so much pressure, they're actually tearing themselves apart and ejecting massive amounts of material. And we've only identified about 700 of them or so in the billions of stars in our galaxy. And out of those, there's only one you can see without a telescope. The first were discovered in 1867 at the very place where I studied astrophysics. The Paris Observatory. And as they often orbit close to another star, their winds and interaction form this cool, distinct pinwheel shape that creates cosmic dust. So how do they go out? As you may know, the most massive stars don't live as long as small stars like our sun because they use up their fuel so fast. Up until now, we thought they might quietly turn into black holes, which is different to other massive stars which often go supernova. But we may have just discovered that they end their lives with a completely new type of supernova. And with the James Webb Telescope being able to see through dust, the wolf rayed stars may reveal more of their secrets very soon.